Epic is a space flight simulator game developed by Digital Image Design and published by Ocean Software for the Amiga and Atari Street in early 1992, with ports for MS-DOS and the NEC PC-9801 later the same year. A sequel titled Inferno was released for the PC CD-ROM in 1994. Gameplay Epic is an action-based spaceflight simulator game. It features eight completely different levels including two in two phases, which take place either in space or over the surface of a planet. Each has a tight time limit to complete the mission destroying the assigned targets, with failure not being an option. <laughs> Plot The plot borrowed heavily from the television series Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek and the Star Wars film franchise, focusing on a fleet of ships carrying the human inhabitants of a planet threatened by an imminent supernova. The escape route leads through the Rexon Empire's territory, which results in war. The player controls the fleet's only hope, one of three experimental Epic-class fighters. In the final mission, the fighter is also used to deploy a cobalt bomb. Topic. Development The game had been in development for about three years and had been repeatedly delayed. At first it was known under the working title Goldrunner 3D and was initially announced to be published by Microdeal as a spiritual sequel to the two Iridium-like Goldrunner top-down shooting games, before a deal for publishing DID games was signed with Ocean in 1989. Much of the technology that was used to create F-29 Retaliator had been used to create Epic. The action is viewed in 3D, with graphics being a mix of uniformly colored polygons and bitmaps featuring 16 colors for Atari Street and 32 colors in the Amiga version, largely shades of gray. The music featured in the game is from the "'Mars Suite' and the "'Jupiter Suite' from the planets by Gustav Holst. Reception Critical reception of Epic was mostly positive, including the review scores of 92% from Mega Zone, 91% from CU Amiga and Amiga User International, and 90% from Amiga Action. Ace, for instance, gave the Amiga and Saint versions a score of 839 out of a possible 1000, praising its fast 3D graphics and sense of scale, but disliking its longevity and lack of depth. Among some of the relatively rare negative reviews, Amiga Power only 34% and 30% for the later 1994 budget re-release criticized the game for its poor design depth and playability. <laughs> Epic Extra Missions On August 1992, an expansion pack Epic Extra Missions was published on Coverdisk for the issue 47 of The One. It was available only for the Amiga and was never sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> Sequel <laughs>